Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is going to be the part 2 of the Power Query Tontas solution. And this is going to be our suggested solution. So let's go ahead and just launch a completely new query. And we're going to connect to that file that we just connected. So it's going to be from CSV, it's going to be the sales data. And we're going to notice something different. We're going to look at this scenario a bit different. Uh, this original idea came from an actual file where the years that you see right here were actually name of companies. It's an actual report, it's an actual TXT file, a not a CSV file, uh, that actually came from a legacy, a really old uh, system, uh, where we actually get a, a report of how our business has been doing in this current year. So, uh, the businesses have many uh, line of businesses. So, instead of actually having 1991, we will see that uh, this is consulting and services. This will be, uh, you can't imagine anything else, to be honest with you. Retail, uh, resellers, anything that you can think of, they will actually have it in here. And instead of in numbers, it will actually be text. So it wouldn't be a year, it would be just a line of business of the business itself. So that makes things a little bit trickier because you're not going to be able to uh, duplicate this column and make it uh, from text to a number and replace the error. Uh, you're going to have to look at this scenario a bit differently. Uh, but sure enough, uh, the actual report itself does have some patterns and the main pattern that we have here is that every time that we see a space or a blank space we immediately after that see a table a completely new table so blank space now it starts a new line of business in this case 1992 right after this blank space it actually starts another table and it will be going and going and going until it's actually uh, blown the full report which was around I believe was 5,000 uh, rows which was not bad to be honest now in this scenario we see that hey the first table doesn't have a first uh, blank space but we can actually change that quite easily to be honest we can go to transform Will I have to go to, uh, I'm going to go where, yeah, it's going to be, yeah. Use first row as headers. Instead of actually promoting the headers, we're going to use the headers as the first row. So we're demoting the actual headers. And in this case, I'm going to replace this column one. So I'm going to just do a replace, replace values. I'm going to find column 1, I'm going to replace it with a null. Or I'm going to first replace it, you know what, I'm going to replace it with just blank space, like this. Then I'm going to do another replace values, I'm going to find the blank spaces, all the blank spaces, and replace it with a null. And you see where I'm actually going with this. Next up is going to be fill up. I'm going to have the name of the company, which in this case is just a number, right here. Now I'm going to replace this one because I want to do something specific to this. I'm going to do a new custom column and I want to find out if the content, if, that's it, if the content of this column is just white space, then give me the value that's from column one else just give me an all we can change that to be either or yeah sorry we need to be either that or then we can actually see this right here. And next up, we're going to just simply do a fail down right here. So transform, fail, 
fell down and you see where I'm actually going with this this is really cool this is amazing and what we need to do after this is simply get rid of the uh, values where we do not we don't really want which is the null and the blanks like this next you can actually promote this area and try to find a way to uh, get rid of this and this other row but that will be too tedious instead what you can do is simply group by and let's use the custom as the actual group by and that way we're going to have the 1991, 1992, 1993 right here and all of the other uh, rows that made the 1991 in just a simple table right here next I'm going to actually promote the headers in each of those tables using the table.promote headers function so table.promote headers that's the first step I'm going to promote the headers of this table that's cool that's really good so we're almost there we're almost there now we need to find a way so that we when we actually expand this we get this first column inside of the actual same column uh, what happens here if I try to expand you're gonna see that we have a 1991 which is the name of this column on this one if I actually sort it let me sort it so you can see it if I try to expand I got 1993 which is not what I want so we need to find a way to change the name of this column 1991 to be something that can be similar or equal to each of those tables and whenever you actually change a name for example if I actually change the name right here you're gonna see that it creates this really cool function called the table renamed columns so what if we use that same function that we have here against this table let's do it so it says table dot rename columns is gonna be applied to a table so the table is going to be custom one and it says we need to change this name which is custom to be year so in this case we're going to change to customer and the column that we need to change because it's actually text is actually on the year so we're going to bypass it so this is going to be the text value that is going to grab I was going to change that inside the custom.1 table to be customer just like this and we see that it actually changed to be customer just like this one and you see that it's going to be similar throughout all of these tables just like this really simple really cool really elegant and quite easy the next step is just to simply delete these two columns because we no longer need them and expand this one we're gonna expand everything but the last column and just like that we have everything that we actually need the last step is to actually do a merge so we're gonna do a merge right here and when I merge this one the customer with the customer names we're gonna expand this to get the name and now we're gonna unpivot all the other columns just like this and just like that we created a solution that can actually work with either number headers or text headers and even if we actually create new tables or add more tables to the file it's just gonna work either way and that is our suggested solution. That is how we actually did it. And we hope that you enjoy it or you find it useful. Uh, and that is it. Thank you for tuning in.